Uh, I'm going to try to do a uh, kind of a, a quick primer on ellipses and circles in perspective. It's it's a large, fun subject, um, but just basically I want to try to get a realistic idea of how I would expect the curves to be of each of these cylindrical pipes. Uh, eventually I'll get to you. I'll get to you later, buddy. Um, <laughs> but let's see. Uh, you may remember from last time, just sketching this in. So as this rectangle become, is, is more and more in perspective, and I'm not looking straight at it, but it's looking flatter to me. So uh, the uh, any subsequent circular objects or items will become elliptical. And they'll still be, it's not exactly like this one, but the one of the important things is to note that it's still going to be based on this horizontal center line of the of the shelf so there's going to be more space here on one side of the ellipse than here um, I'm going to see if I can demonstrate that kind of quickly here. So this is just a simplified, simplified, simplified version of the shelves. So if I wanted to find my crisscross and center lines, And I wanted to make sure that the middle of my ellipses were starting there. There's a lot of there's a lot of things you can do to help really get an accurate ellipse, but that's that's a different that's a different uh, lecture or a project. But I want to make. these ellipses that are flattened circles and they will be accordingly um, flatter the uh, the more we're looking at the edge of the more flat the, the surface And they may not they may not be on a surface, but they'll still flatten depending on how they are related to the the horizon line. Closer to the horizon, just like these boards, the the flatter they get, and the the less you can see the top side of or the bottom side of things. So this ellipse will be, well, it will line up with you. It's supposed to line up with you, but it'll be even a little bit flatter than this one. Same width. gets tr well several things reasons why it gets tricky not the least of which this is sort of small let me do the um try the underside here Hopefully I mentioned I have a lot of 
videos on ellipses that you are welcome to go check out and study. So if that's where the middle of this one would be, I would want it to be something like that. And now as far as the, um, the spacing is, since we've switched over to above the horizon, if I keep if I keep if I kept going higher, this these ellipses ellipses would become more circular. But I want to um, also point out that the distance from here to here is now more than here to here. So it's easy to, to, to mix that up because if you're just sort of thinking, oh, it's if it's in perspective, then the bottom, the lower part of this shape will have more. Uh, that is true when we're looking at something that's below the horizon and will become less true as it becomes flatter, at least hard, harder to notice, and then we'll switch. So now that's going to be the farthest part, and it still has to do with the edge that's closest to us. And what is further away from us? That's the important thing to sort of to keep thinking about. So this has a um, this has a couple of different things going on, including these. Uh, little even more detail kind of extra lip parts whatever you call them for the rest of this one I'm just gonna try to sketch in kind of what I would think the ellipses without the additional detail parts would be. So this one would, would be getting fairly circular. This one a little less so. It's still based on that center line. Here we can't see anything and now it's crossed over to below the horizon. Let me get rid of some of that. I'm just going to erase out some of that to hopefully make it clear as I demonstrate. So for this one, I would want to be thinking about something that was starting to get circular, and I would see the bottom part of this, the ellipse that's in there. Similar for that. Now this one is going to be, this is a little bit wider than this, a little bit taller. And so the underlying ellipse will be a little bit more circular than the previous one. Um, this one will be the most circular because it's the further away it gets from the horizon line the more we're sort of looking straight at a circle, not in perspective. Let me do that over here. So 
So these visual cues are just, there. there's a lot of subtle things going on. But what, what really helps is to make sure that there's a, uh, a sequential pattern. And that the pattern is following the, the rules of perspective. So when we're looking up, we'll see this the front part of the ellipse. We're looking more up, it'll be more circular. So this one will be a little less circular. I may have to fuss with that. And this is all subtle stuff. And uh, since it, uh, when it goes below, This would be slightly circular of the ellipse I would see on the bottom. Same there. This one will be getting a little bit more. But I want to make sure that even though these are subtly different, that there's definitely a sequence where this is less curvy than this, and this is less curvy than this. Curvy, that would be the artistic, formal, fine art, at artistic term. Just as I want to make sure that as this is going down that this is less wide than, or less tall than this, and this is less tall than this, these visual cues sort of add up. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shade these in a little bit. I'm definitely make, making these thicker than the reference to not sure that I, I like that it seems like it's getting just sort of overall too thick but um, I'll decide if I want to change that or not It seemed to visually make sense to me that I made these, the height of the shelves kind of thicker than my reference photo, that maybe everything should be accordingly a little bit bigger, but that might be sort of making something that's too crowded, it, it, that seems too yeah, too crowded and there wouldn't be any really space on this shelf for anything to be. I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> That's fun. So I'm going to um, stop there, and we'll do more sometime soon.